Hello, good morning, and welcome to today's Products in Focus. So having a quick look at the world's financial markets, we are actually seeing a slight drift this morning as we get ready for arguably the biggest non-farm payrolls in a recent memory, uh, which could have a massive impact on the likelihood of raising interest rates in the US in December. I have the next FOMC session in uh, November, where if non-farms basically smashes it um, this month, that would put a lot of um, fuel to the fire that we could have a December rate hike. The FX markets are already moving in anticipation that the figure will be good. Sometimes the market can be disappointed, though. The reality is nobody actually knows if this figure is going to be good or bad, and it was absolutely terrible last month. So. I think, you know, prepare for the worst. Um, of, I think of the best, I prepare for the worst, you know. So have a think about that when you're entering into your positions today. And uh, this non farms is more critical than ever. Interesting kind of candle formation on the US 30 currently. Flat lining already this morning. 17.747 as potential support with 18.112 as potential resistance on the US 30. UK 100 is moving lower, almost a head and shoulders formation, 64.15 potential resistance, 63.00 as potential support. Then having a look at Japan, 225 is breaking higher at the moment with 19,104 being the potential support level, uh, with a much higher level of 20,087 being potential resistance. We're trading above both moving averages. Um, the other technicals are well, MACD slowing down here. We're not yet overbought on the RSI, and the slow stochastic is overbought, but no signal yet to sell. So 19.104 on Japan 2 to 5 is in play. And the interesting one about this is dollar yen, of course, because if dollar yen is breaking higher, that means yen's getting, uh, losing value, which makes Japan 2 to 5 go higher as they get more competitive globally, this could be a breakout. We could be getting very close to a breakout in dollar yen. So dollar yen will undoubtedly be an FX pair to watch during today's non-farm payrolls. 121 spot 87 is a potential resistance. We've not had that breakout yet, but will it be today? Very good question. Looking at West Texas crude, it's reverse course. It's below that uh, oscillating 45.85 level. $42 is the next potential support, but expect uh, crude to stick around about 45 and change until non-farms. Gold, um, a negative day yesterday, a relief bounce this morning, uh, quite close to potential resistance at $1,100. Next potential support is $1,072. Gold will also be a major one to watch. If non-farms doesn't come out, if non-farms is terrible, gold is like a coil spring right now. Could just spike back up because it's come off 7%. So do bear that one in mind if the figure comes out abysmal. Uh, Euro dollar. So euro dollar, uh, a little bit below one spot zero nine, one spot zero seven eighty six, the next potential support, and GBP USD got killed yesterday after the MPC minutes, very negative can candle yesterday. They're not raising rates in the US and the UK anytime soon. Put it that way. Vote was eight to one, um, a bit of a disappointing update from Kearney. So one spot fifty one eighty five is potential support. That's where we are right now. If we move below that, then one spot forty eight thirteen is the next potential level. So where are we? At one thirty UK time, non farms forecast at one eighty. If it comes in, let's say two twenty five and and change that would be a good figure. If it comes in below, if it comes in at 142, that's a bad figure. Anything else in between, the market's not really going to do a huge amount, I don't think. Um, 180 is quite quite uh, punchy for October, but you never know. Uh, unemployment is expected to remain at 5.1. Remember, guys, we have a webinar. Go to support live trader events and make sure you sign up to Colin Sarkinski and Michael Houston's webinar to get the inside track. Starts at quarter past one UK time and finishes 15 minutes later. So, if we fast forward past the weekend, you'll notice there, Chinese trade balance data on Sunday, 3 a.m., that can have a big impact. Red impact level, don't forget that. And then on Monday, not a lot, and Tuesday, we've got more CPI, Chinese data, also very important. So, it's all about non-farms, guys, and even if it comes out strong, still no guarantee that rates will increase in the US, but this is a figure that everybody's talking about, it's a figure that all traders should be looking at and make sure that you guys have a strategy as to what you're gonna do on either side of that figure and if it's positive or negative. So very good luck guys and join me again on Monday to find out the result of that non-farm payrolls. Take care guys, bye-bye.